Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Minecraft server on your home PC. So yes, let's get started. So the current version for Minecraft is 1.12. Uh, let's say a bit further down the line, Minecraft updates, you should still be able to follow this video. Everything's going to be pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is um, maybe a few uh, names or letters or numbers might be different. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, let's get started. So there is a little bit of info I want to just give you before we actually make the server. At Let's say at any point of this video you get stuck or the server's not um, not working, it's not opening and stuff like that. Please go down into the description, look for the area called problem solving and click on that timestamp. It will take you to a certain part of this video where I will give you tips and tricks and, you know, help you uh, solve a problem by telling you, you know, what's going on in this certain situation. But nine times out of ten, it should, this server should just work straight away. But always, um, always remember everyone's computer is different, everyone has different software different versions of software, different versions of Windows and so on. Right, anyway, now we've got that out of the way, let's get on with the tutorial. So then, to start off with, go down to the description, go to the minecraft.net link, what is in there will send you to the official Minecraft website and uh, it will take you to the download page, this link will, where you can actually download the uh, server jar file. So to start off with, you want to get onto the page and then come down to this section, download minecraft underscore server dot one dot twelve dot jar you want to click on this link now it will start downloading in the bottom corner now I highly recommend you to use Chrome uh, for this because if let's say you're uh, you're using um, uh, Firefox uh, Internet Explorer Edge it might download as a zip file so as you see here uh, it's actually giving me a warning message saying you know this can harm your computer it will not harm your computer. You're downloading this from the official Minecraft website. It gets triggered because it's a jar file and it's executable, something like that. But as you can see here, you know, it's supported by Mojang and Microsoft Studio. So it's everything's absolutely safe. So we want to press keep. Now we want to actually make a folder on the desktop. Uh, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine uh, server. And we're just going to drop and drag the uh, file into here. So now, once you've got the file uh, into the folder, we need to make a text file. So we're going to right click, new text document, and then we're going to open it in notepad. Now the information you need to put here is this red writing right here. So we're going to press copy, and then we're going to paste that in. So that's exactly the same as this is exactly the same on the website, and also it matches the names. So as long as you've got this information in here, you should be all right to go. So the next thing we need to do is actually go to uh, save as, and then you can call it whatever you want. You can call your run, start, go, fly, anything, your dog's name, so on. But as long as, whatever you name it, right at the end, you've got to have dot bat, bat, dot bat. Now, once you press save, this will actually make a file in here with a few little cogs and this makes it a batch file or in our terms a executable file what will actually run the jar file so we're going to delete the old text document because you don't need it anymore so as long as you've got these two files right there you should be uh, ready to go so when you first click on this file it'll open some it'll open a command prompt and then it'll close straight away this is because we need to actually accept the EULA agreement now, if you didn't get any of these files, please go down to the problem solving area and watch from there. So then, let's actually accept the EULA. So we'll open it up. Then we'll change uh, false to true. Save, close, and we'll restart it up. So give it a few seconds. As you see here, it's starting up on the 1.12 version and now it's creating the actual world or spawn area as they see here. Now this is why I recommend you put it into a folder because it makes quite a lot of files. So it is done. So the next thing we need to do is actually log into the server. So then we're going to open it up or open open your standard Minecraft launcher. We'll just give it a second to load. There we go. There we go. So once you're in here you want to go to multiplayer and then I've already got it as a server right here. If I press edit, 
you got the IP, but go to direct connect at the bottom. Now to connect to your server, do not you don't need to put your home IP in or your router IP in, you just need to type in local host. Now, if you want to have a public IP address and get your friends on, uh, I'm gonna link to you link down below a port forwarding tutorial where it will actually show you how to open up your IP address so other people can join your server. So uh, just go down there, click on the port uh, the port forwarding link, and it will take you to another tutorial where um, he will teach you how to port forward. But I do want to warn you, it is a lot more complicated than most people think because everyone's internet router is different. You know, going from uh, company to company, you know, internet companies, and then country to country, it's completely different. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, once you've got our IP address, localhost, into the uh, server address, we're going to press join server. So it's going, there we go, run our server, and we can confirm this by opening the console, and as you see here, um, it will tell us, you know, where they've joined, and uh, the information, so I've joined on a local IP, as you can see here. And uh, if we press tab, I'm the only one on the server. So at the moment, we have uh, no access to any commands, so we actually need to give ourselves privileges. Uh, you want to go into the black console, and type in O P and then your Minecraft name. O P then your Minecraft name. Press enter and then you should get a message in the servers uh, saying you know uh, server opt your name. For my case, it's server opt quad bamba. Now you're going to be able to go into game mode one and you know get out get access to all the blocks and so on. So yes, that is how you make your Minecraft server. It's very nice and easy. And, you know, it's great to actually have a drone server because, you know, if, if you do eventually uh, want to port forward, uh, you can invite your friends on. You can have your own control environment where you don't have to play with other people. You can just play with your friends and have a good time. So anyway, guys, that is it. So now we're going to move on to the problem solving. So I'm going to go back to my desktop and uh, I'll be back in a split second. Right then guys, now we're to the problem solving uh, bit of this video and at the end of this uh, I'm going to be doing a bit more uh, talking about uh, port forwarding as well so just hang on. But let's get the problem solving out of the way so I'm going to give you a few uh, tips and tricks to see if I can get your server running for you. So then, first thing I'm going to say is it's not always guaranteed to run on everyone's computer. Even Minecraft on the official website even says you know, you might have to do some tweaking to get it to work, you know, with the um, path uh, environment variables. So you might have to do some tweaking, but hopefully, um, without, it, you know, messing around with variables and all that type of stuff, the easiest thing you can try and do is actually just try and update your Java. So just type Java in your search bar, go to config Java, and then we want to go to update, and then click update now. Now, I've already updated mine, as you can see here, it's it's got the latest version. Um, so if you already update, let's say let's say you had to update it, you uh, install the new version. So the next thing you can do is actually I recommend to restart your computer, come back to the file, double click it, and let's say you only get to the uh, EULA bit and your server is still crashing, crashing, and crashing, or nothing's even popping up. Uh, the second thing you actually want to do, maybe uh, what is recommended, is completely uninstall all your Java. You know, sometimes you might have multiple versions on your computer. You might have a 64-bit, a 32-bit. It has happened in the past to me. So just make sure uninstall your Java. Um, you can just do that by going uh, to Control Panel. Then go to Uninstall Programs and then type in Java. And then you can uninstall it right there. So that's how you do that. Now, the second thing is, let's say you start up your server. Uh, it's running absolutely fine. Um... You shut down your server, but it won't start up again. Sometimes uh, the server actually stays sort of running in the background, very lightweight. It's just like a Java um, background task. So what you might have to do is, if uh, your server won't start up again, is go into um, Task Manager and then find the Java process. It's like uh, what Minecraft normally runs on, and just just kill it. You know, it's just got the Java logo. So let's have, here you go. Let me start up the server. It's going to actually create it, so let me just uh, quickly accept the EULA. We'll type that in, make sure I spell it right. Save. Oh, no, not save us. Let's click save. There we go. Oh, no, I'm clicking on it everywhere, random. But uh, right then. 
So let's open this up. It's going to load up. Right now, if we actually go to Task Manager, we've actually see a Java process right here. What is actually the server? So sometimes this thing can actually stay running. So all we got to do is press kill, and there we go. And then, then you should be able to click on your uh, run file, and it opens up again. So that's hopefully this information will help you. Uh, if not just remember google is your friend always remember that and you know if this uh, tips don't help you uh, please you know look up about this uh, path environment variables um, because i've had to change mine in the past on uh, when i used to use windows 7 but for windows 10 it's been uh, quite all right for me so then let's let's talk a bit about port forwarding so Port forwarding is about opening your router so your friends can uh, use your home IP and connect to your server. Now, I haven't made a tutorial on this because it, for me, I like to try and explain stuff the most simplest way I can for the person who is going to try and do this at home. So, in my case, I'm just going to link you to some tutorials. Um, what is the best way? Because you got to remember, everyone is you know between me living in the uk and somebody living in the us there is you know different countries then you've got different internet companies so i have one control panel uh, the person over in america or france or germany have completely different uh, uh, control panels to manage their routers uh, i've even heard in the past some uh, internet companies even block you port forwarding because what uh, port forwarding is pretty much doing, it's opening this port to uh, 25565. Uh, and that what allows your friend to connect to your server. Because that's a default port of Minecraft. So hopefully this information will help you. Please go down, down to the description while you're there. Make sure you hit the like button as well. Uh, and just click on a few, a few of the videos, um, port forwarding uh, videos I have down there. And hopefully that will help you out. But anyway, guys, that is the video. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, and share it on Twitter or Facebook, whichever one you want to do. Make sure you pass them around. Um, if you have any questions, please post them down into the comments. I'll try and help you as to my best of my capability, let's say. But in general, thank you for watching, and goodbye.